Bassy's learning land. Hey friends, it's Bassy from Bassy's Learning Land. Whoa, look at these. Oh, whoa. Look, there's some shapes and they have some magnets and they attach to each other. Oh, today we're going to learn about how we can turn these two-dimensional shapes that only have length and width and build something really, really cool. Like these 3D, three-dimensional shapes because they have length, width, and height so don't forget if you like this adventure give us a thumbs up or you could always also subscribe all right so let's get learning we should review our shapes so i'm gonna get a shape and we're gonna take a look and figure out where it can go oh ooh, look at that face hmm it looks kind of silly doesn't it all right this shape has three sides one two and three it also has three vertices one two three hmm. where can this green tr triangle good job where can the tr green triangle go with a silly face <gasps> here it goes well done what about this one <gasps> oh it not quite a circle it's much longer it's like somebody squeezed it but it sure does look happy to see you because you're so special all right where can this oval good work where can the oval go oh of course right here it's orange it's an orange happy oval oh oh also a very happy shape it's also very happy to see you oh okay so it's a happy feeling and it looks like a flower a red flower where can this red flower go oh i think it goes right here but someone else is coming hello oh it's another happy shape okay hmm so it doesn't quite go like that because the face is facing this way so it's not quite a square hmm huh oh i think it's right here yeah and we can also call this shape a diamond now i think this next shape is perfect for you because you are a superstar hmm. oh it's very happy and this looks like it's a Star, because you're a star you're so special well, this next shape is also for you it's so excited to see you it is the color red and it is a in the shape of a heart there it goes this one this one's kind of looking silly too it's kind of like a pink color that's right oh ooh, but let's take a look at this shape there is four of them one two three four sides and there's one two three four vertices yeah mm -hmm. so this is called a rectangle yes we're gonna go over here no this doesn't have two long sides this rectangle goes right here there's no tricking you <gasps> oh look at that this is a winking face it closed one eye look at that it's happy though it's nice and round. Look, it could probably roll. <laughs> yep, it's also green. Where did this green shape go? Hmm. Well, maybe it goes above the orange oval because it kind of looks similar. This is a circle. This one. Ooh, what is that? Look, let's count the sides. One, two, three, four, five. Five sides and one, two, three, four, five vertices. Yeah, it's also happy, has a nice little smile. Maybe it's happy because it's the green color. Oh, there's two more spots. Where should it go? Well, over here, of course, because it's a pentagon. Penta means five. Oh, last but not least, it's this happy little square. Good job. And it's in the color purple yes the square has four equal sides look one two three four four sides and it also has one two three four vertices way to go so this purple square should go right here oh we did it all right so what we're going to do is we're going to use these two 
sh types of shapes and we're going to use lots of them to make this next 3D shape. So for the squares, we're going to need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. But guess what? Putting two squares together can make a rectangle. Take a look at that. All right. So these ones have two long shapes, two long sides and two short sides. So we're going to get four of these rectangles. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to make a net. A net is kind of like what we need to have an instruction of how we're going to make that 3D shape. So in this net, we're going to start with one, two, three, four rectangles. We're going to squish them together. And the next 2D shape that we need is our squares. We're going to put one on this side and one on that side. And then what magical thing we can do is start folding it up. So here we're going to fold this side up. And this is now going to become a three-dimensional shape. <gasps> Whoa! So by using squares and rectangles, now we have made a square prism. Whoa! And these flat parts are called faces. And where these faces meet over here is called an edge. And then here, where these edges meet, this is called a vertex. Whoa. So we have one first 3D shape using two-dimensional shapes. And it's 3D because it has a length times width and height. All right, so for our next three-dimensional shape, we're going to be using a lot of squares. So how many squares? Well, let's count one two, three, four, five, six squares. And now we're going to make our net. Remember, our net is how, are kind of our instructions of what we need to do to build a three-dimensional shape. So we're going to put one, two, three, four, four squares together. And we're going to attach one square here and one square here. So this is our net. Now we're going to start folding to build our new three-dimensional shape. So we're going to go build and we're going to fold this up. Whoa! And it kind of looks like a box, doesn't it? Whoa! Take a look at that. So using all those flat squares, we put it together and we build what is called a cube. Yeah, it has a length times width and a height. That are Those are the three things that make it a three-dimensional figure. For this next 3D shape, we're going to be using squares, rectangles, and triangles. Now let's count how many of each we're going to use. So we're going to start off with two triangles, and we're going to use these squares, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to put them together to make three rectangles, one, two, three. And for this net, we're going to put those three rectangles together and going to put those triangles here on the side. Hmm. Let's try this net. So if I tried it out, oh, it doesn't quite work. See, the instructions were not correct. So let's try it again. We're going to open it up and let's put these triangles right here. Now let's see if the net works. We're going to fold one of these triangles up and put it down there. And we're going to lift the next one. Oh, it seems like this way, this net does work. Oh, so much so that we have a triangular pr prism. Well done. We have a triangular face here and a triangular face here. Remember, rectangular face. Faces are the flat parts of the shapes. We have a lot of edges and a lot of vertices. Great work! We made a triangular prism. Whoa! Okay, so we're going to need some squares and some triangles. Mm, okay, so for this net, we're going to need four triangles, one, two, three, four, and one square. To make our net, we're going to add these triangles on each side, one triangle per side of that 
square. And all we have to do now is we're going to fold these triangles up. <gasps> Whoa, and take a look at that. We have made a brand new 3D shape. This is called a squared based pyramid. Yeah, a pyramid because all of these faces, these triangular faces, all folded up to one part over here, this vertex. So it's very different from our square prism because there's no pointy part here at the end. It's a flat face. Compared to this pyramid, it has a little pointy part here at the top. So there you go. We made another one. We're doing so well. Next shape we have is the following. We need just triangles. Let's see what we could do with just triangles. So here we have one small triangle and we have one, two, three big triangles. So in total, we have one, two, three, four triangles, but there are two different shapes, a small one and big ones. To make this net, we're going to attach these long, big triangles on each edge of that small triangle. Then we're going to fold upwards. Oh, whoa. Oh, fantastic. So this one looks a little different from our friend over here because look at their bases. This one has a square base. The one we just built has a triangular base. So for this one, we would call it a triangular base pyramid because it still meets all the three triangles still meet here on one vertice. So it's a pyramid. This one has a square base. So that's a square base pyramid. Different, but they're still pyramids. Let's get building. All right, so now we have our one, two, three, four, five shapes. We have five of our shapes. And now we're going to start building our lovely structure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put ooh, the prisms on top of each other, the squared base prism and the triangular base prism together. Whoa, it looks like a building already. Lovely. And then I'm going to do our square based pyramid on our cube. Mm. Whoa, take a look at that. And guess what? We have some special little hexagons and we're gonna use this maybe we could use these for like a little path yeah why not let's do a pattern we're gonna do orange yellow and this is going to be our core the part that keeps repeating itself so orange yellow what's next orange yellow oh next one is gonna be yeah good job orange yellow and we're going to try to make it go all the way to the other house we're then going to go orange and finish off with a beautiful yellow and we're going to attach this house right here oh how beautiful their neighbors but what can we use this for yeah maybe we could use it like a little tree whoa look what we built we built a little little neighborhood and maybe there's a little car that goes beep beep, beep. Maybe it wants to park over here. Maybe it's driving all the way home. So I want to say thank you so much for following us on this really fun adventure where we get to learn all about 3D and 2D shapes. So remember, 2D shapes are things that are flat just like this. But then you could use these 2D shapes and build something 3D just like this as well. So I thank you so much for joining us today and I hope you had a lot of fun. I sure did. So don't forget to like this video if you had lots of fun and subscribe to learn more and continue going on our lo fun learning adventures. Bye. See you soon. See you soon.